Hello everybody, welcome to my brief video lecture related to frame free basketball. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Yuri. I am a head coach of Free and Free Belarus Women National Team. And I want to say it's a great honor for me to be uh, to make this video, to share the information with you. Uh, today we're going to speak how to switch effectively from 5 on 5 to Free and Free Basketball. I really hope it will, will be helpful for you guys and together we continue to elevate Free and Free Basketball to the next level. For whom this video will be interested for? During last seasons I met a lot of 5 on 5 players who started to play in free and free and most of, most of them struggled with uh, some difficulties. As a result they lost their efficiency in the free and free game. So first of all this video is designed for basketball players who is about to start playing free and free as well as for acting free and free player with decent experience who want to increase their efficiency. Also this video uh, is supposed to be useful for free and free coach, especially on youth level, for example under 18 national team coaches, the coach who is searching for appropriate 5 and 5 players and try to adjust them to free and free basketball. So the basic goal of this video <coughs> is to make more smoothly switching from 5 on 5 to free and free basketball. So we start with the major distinction of free and free game. What is the principally separate 5 and 5 and free and free? Of course, these two factors, game intensity and the level of contact. Of course, there are uh, more, more uh, little features but these two distinctions are the major ones and therefore we can define the K factors to quick and effective transition from 5 and 5 to 3 and 3 just for the sake of simplicity we divide it on two groups basic factors what related to players skills and abilities and secondary just organizing issues we briefly go through each of them further, except one, physical preparation. It is really a specific subject with, which requires um, thorough consideration. And thankfully there is a comprehensive study you can find on the official FIBA Free on Free website right here, physical preparation. I'm sure most of you guys get familiarized already with it. There, is, there are a lot of theoretical and practical information you can find and you could gain benefits from that so we're gonna start directly from number two decision making what do we mean decision making for entry basketball it's a new mindset for the players in terms of intensity and numbers of decisions they have made it is good to see when we compare and start of the new possession in 5 on 5 basketball and 3 on 3 basketball. After scoring the basket in 5 on 5, usually most of the players on the court have 3, 4 or even up to 7, 8 seconds to re-establish yourself, not only physically but mentally as well, until the moment when they have to make new serious game decisions like shoot, pass, drive or cut. And if we're talking about defensive team, they have time to re-establish defense, to be ready to pick and roll or whatever. While in free and free basketball, there is no time to break. And it does not matter, defense or offense, you have to react immediately and start to make a new decision. And it goes continuously without, without stopping. In free and free basketball, we have three important issues. First of all, just three players on the half court. So each player has more intensity. Every minute they have two times more possessions per minute. Just because 12 seconds shot clock. And instantly and continuously switching between defense and offense. That's why for a free mental intensity game. Every player, every minute has to make two or even three times more K decision 
and made it continuously without stopping. So what it means practically for us, for coaches and players, as a result, to be effective in free and free, new mindset and specific drills should be implemented in practice plan. The players have to be ready for quicker fast and defensive switching, have to be ready for making decisions without any delays. It's a new mindset and it goes only through experience, through practice and through specific drills. Here I'm just describing what kind of drills could be. When we will go opportunity to go outside, you know, in the court, we will make some video with such drills. But it is for the next video. You know. So the important conclusion, the practice drill should be made not only the shooting drill, for example, but should be made shooting drills and immediately goes to the defense. It's really, really crucial, it's really important. The next key factor is do not afraid the contact, it is, it's obvious. In the free and free basketball, higher level on, of contact allowed on every action. It doesn't matter, it's on shooting, on dribbling, on post play or boxing out, right here on shooting, usually on driving to the basket, higher level of contact allowed on every action. So the point is clear. Specific drill with contact should be implemented in practice plan. Of course, you have to use some boxing equipment for that. It's a pack of, pack of drill you could use for on every basketball skill. There are just a few description of different kind of drills. I hope we can uh, make a video in the future and gonna show it in the next lecture. The next chapter is offensive responsibility really important factor for every free and free player as we said there are just three players on the court so you cannot be just a specialized player as we met a lot in five and five for example just uh, set a screen or just playmaker or just rebounding player or just playing in defense with the best scorer and after that in offense you just stay in the corner for spreading the space no in free and free every player has to be a leader Every player has to take responsibility when the ball comes to his hand. Every player has to be ready for a shot as only opportunity comes. It is also different mindset for some players. So from the very beginning it should be installed in the player's brain. You have to be ready to shoot. Now a couple of words about defensive mentality. Yes, today you can see it in 5-on-5 five five as well. Many coaches and teams creating aggressive defensive mentality in 5-on-5. Five five. They understand that it could be really helpful. But in 3-on-3 three three is even more important just because there are only 12 seconds for a shot clock and because the high level of contact is allowed in defense. It is not only the possibility more likely to steal the ball but at least to steal the time from the opponent. Look, they, they play aggressive defense and, and now the offensive team has just 5 seconds in the shot clock. They do not have opportunity to organize a solid offensive play. So aggressive defense is one of the major factors to create a winning free and free team. So to summarize, the basic factors which we have keep in mind when dragging out players from 5-on-5 five five to 3-on-3. Free free. First of all, special physical preparation. Also, ability to make right and fast decision in intensive pace. They have to not afraid a contact. Players have to be ready to take responsibility for a shot. And all, of course, have to be aggressive in defense. And just quick, go through the organizing issues. First of all, is player selection. So what we as a coach have to pay attention when we're picking up players for effective free and free team. <coughs> what kind of players should be? <laughs> of course it could be any size, any height and body. But in such cases they have to have extraordinary skills in athletics. Honestly, which not everybody has. And moreover, have to be able to play defense in mismatch. So small guys have the ability to play defense in the post, while big guys have to have quick feet to play defense in the perimeter. Of 
course, we have such exception in free and free, but the majority, the best working profiles are the following. It's above average height, the numbers, of course, for the men's team. <clears throat> Good athletics ability, play defense, can shoot, can drive, can pass. So all around universal players would be perfect. But I repeat, it could be exception. There is just a preferable profile, just to what kind to focusing on. And the last, but not the least, it's a game self-control. Everybody knows that during free and free game, all players have to control game by itself. It can concern not only playing technical decision, but tactical decision as well. It's about uh, substitution, timeouts, and strategy adjustment. For the new guys in free and free, I'm really suggesting to pay special attention for the substitution. Because in free and free substitution should be done very often to maintain the high pace of the ball game. But five and five players used to play a lot without substitution. So they ha have to be prepared in advance. You have to play your time span at the maximum tempo and make squad rotation frequently. What about timeouts and strategy adjustment? Players just have to understand when timeout should be taken, uh, in depends on situation, or how the tax tactics should be adjusted during the game, in depends on the situation on the court. There are a lot of different cases could be. Of course, deep understanding of the free and free game become with the huge experience, but sooner rather than later, coach has to prepare a player in advance. So let's summarize all what we have said. In this video session, we can we consider it what we need for effective transition from five on five to free and free. What free and free player have to be able to do what to focus in on to be effective in free and free what about coach uh, they should know what criteria keep in mind when looking for a new free and free players or on what kind of skills and abilities coach should focus in on in their practice plan to create a great free and free team so that's it i really hope you enjoy this video and it will be helpful for your understanding the game free and free and for your future practice as well. Thank you for your attention and I wish you to stay healthy, to stay in the shape and see you on the court. Bye!